The concept often referred to as karma is what we are talking about. Megan's carefully crafted strategy is experiencing a significant setback as Hollywood decides to exclude the Sussexes. Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Princess Diana News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. We are already aware of Megan's initial intentions. And although there may be a few details that slipped my memory, as far as I remember, it unfolded in a similar fashion. Encounter, captivate, and wed a member of royalty. I'm certain she felt let down as she did not end up marrying the prince she had initially desired. Afterward, she found herself obligated to tie the knot in saint rather than following in her rival's footsteps by choosing Westminster Abbey, George's chapel was her preferred location. However, the idea of having multiple weddings, possibly even more than three, where she would wear white and gain worldwide attention, likely went beyond her initial hopes. The second objective is to acquire all pertinent domain names, such as Sussex Royal, in order to preserve them for future use. Publicly declare their intention to marry and purchase a lavish gown costing £56,000 to adorn during the celebration. To commemorate their impending nuptials, scheduled talks have been arranged with Harry. In addition, she also made sure to mention her eagerness to immediately assist Harry in his royal duties. Proceed with the marriage ceremony, an occasion that likely ranked as the most memorable day of her existence. In retrospect, she unknowingly experienced a significant decline following that point. Commence the procedure for obtaining trademark rights for the Sussex Royal logo as well as the intended merchandise for sale. Behave in a self-entitled manner and exhibit spoiled behavior during her father-in-law's birthday celebration. Inform the attendees that she was experiencing a sense of boredom and face being completely excluded from the occasion. Presumably, she was relieved at the thought of avoiding any future gatherings. Subsequently, she orchestrates a sham pregnancy as a clever means to solidify her position within the royal social structure. Little did she know, Buckingham Palace had already begun preparations for her involvement in Prince Harry's visit to Fiji, Tonga, New Zealand, and Australia. She had assumed it would be a fully funded trip to the beach, accompanied by her friend, Jessica Maroney. While Harry was occupied with his responsibilities, she and Jessica would have the leisure to soak up the sun, swim, and indulge in shopping, splurging with money they hadn't earned. However, she was anticipated to physically be present with Harry instead. Furthermore, Meghan found it particularly repulsive that she had to carry out all these tasks without receiving any compensation. In my opinion, she has gained valuable insights from that experience. Having the privilege of being part of the royal family and actively participating in its duties turned out to be not as fulfilling as she had anticipated. There would be more to it than just glamorous parties and fancy attire. It would require substantial effort and frequently tedious tasks. And Meghan had no intentions of tolerating that. There was ample documentation of the conflicts that occurred between Harry during the journey. And when they embarked on their journey, they had just celebrated their wedding five months ago. Both she and Harry believed that their overseas visit far surpassed the efforts of any other members of the royal family. Consequently, they insisted on an increased payment and a superior level of commitments. In essence, Meghan's preferences were the activities she desired to undertake. Due to Meghan and Harry's immense popularity, William and Catherine were able to focus on less exciting tasks. The higher authorities advised them to abandon their aspirations, which greatly distressed Meghan. Therefore, she executed her strategy. Intelligently rephrase this text, they would flee to sunny California, become close friends with the celebrities she invited to their wedding, and gain adoration and recognition wherever she went. Meghan's deepest desire would have become a reality. While the glamorous individuals were occupied, unfortunate minions would be engaging in global online marketing of their Sussex royal merchandise. According to Sunshine Sachs, 
the merchandise was projected to generate nearly half a billion dollars within a span of five years. Megan would be completely exempt from any responsibilities. From the very start, Megan had intended to go in that direction. However, things took an unexpected turn for the worse when the queen informed her that using the word royal on her merchandise was not permissible. Wow, everything we had planned and all the money we invested in it ended up being completely useless. Although they were not widely popular in the UK, they had gained considerable popularity in other regions, except for Fiji and Australia. With just a minor adjustment, they could have easily sold their products. Megan was obliged to remove the term royal from the logo. However, she would have continued to promote Sussex using a royal emblem. However, she chose to take no action. We are all aware of the consequences of inaction when lacking both inspiration and a strong work ethic. They are precisely at their current location. It could have been a contrasting scenario had they only been willing to exert a bit of effort. They undoubtedly sabotage their own progress. They have brought about their own downfall by their own actions. Largely disregarded and definitively undesirable, the once powerful have experienced a remarkable decline within an astonishingly brief period. Megan has been unsuccessful in all her endeavors. Furthermore, it is worth noting that her closest circle of influential acquaintances has also abandoned her. According to the late Queen, Meghan possesses an alarming degree of self-assurance. Her lack of self-confidence is detrimental. In reality, it has led to her downfall. How will this situation ultimately conclude? Additionally, Scabies Endgame Media recently disclosed allegations regarding Prince William's ambition and King Charles's lack of popularity. Sure, let's investigate further. The attention from the media is focused on an individual who lacks the ability to edit a simple community publication. Okay, let's make it clear about the functioning of a position within the royal family. If you wish to work at Windsor or Buckingham or Kensington Palace, you must undergo a thorough background screening process lasting several weeks before being hired. And I'm referring to more than just background checks related to criminal history or skills. Once you are formally employed, each time you enter the premises, your pass is scanned, with the authorization updates occurring monthly, and your facial features are also scanned for access verification. The individuals in fancy uniforms are more than just ordinary men serving as guards. They possess a high level of physical fitness and engage in vigilant militia activities. They possess a high level of competence. The breaking news reveals a close-knit and dedicated community, consisting of various professionals ranging from clockwinders to IT specialists, who are all committed to serving and protecting the royal family. Regardless of the possible rewards, they would never engage in conversation with someone like Scooby-Doo. They consider books such as Endgame and Spare an insult to be highly offensive. They possess extensive knowledge about the real story concerning Harry and Meghan. Although Harry, Meghan, and Scooby-Doo are not the only ones writing books, there is a positive aspect to it. Indeed, they are known for their tendency to profit from spreading malicious gossip that they themselves have fabricated. Can you recall the instances where Meghan and Harry consistently refuted working alongside Scooby-Doo to attain freedom? Subsequently, Meghan was compelled by the High Court to acknowledge that she indeed did collaborate, allegedly through a concealed directive to her assistant. Yes, absolutely. That was the lawyer's justification to evade being charged with perjury. The three tragics are being informed that there is another upcoming book released to anticipate. And the gruesome twosome are in for a bleak outcome. There are individuals who genuinely adore their professions and exhibit their backing for the royal family. That information is highly valuable. The ultimate outcome will be for Harry and Meghan. The royalty will not have access to it. It was quite clear that Meghan lacked an understanding of the true significance of being royalty. She had indulged in an excessive number of Hallmark and Disney movies. After participating in several Canadian-funded films, she developed exaggerated feelings of importance and decided to bring her personal screenplay to life. However, 
whether it was a stroke of luck or a twist of fate, she managed to convince Harry that she had the capability to seize control of the kingdom according to her own conditions. However, it was her refusal to acknowledge the truth that she would always have a minor role in the British royal family that caused her to lose her sanity. She chose to have a tantrum similar to a small child and deeply embarrassed herself with her dishonesty and outrageous conduct. Her downfall can be greatly attributed to her strong narcissism and excessive arrogance. Britain was already in possession of a reigning queen. They were not in need of guidance from this irrational lady. She believed that she was the ideal candidate for the job, as she could bring modernity to the royal family, though it was unclear what exactly that entailed. Upon discovering that she couldn't obtain complimentary items or profit from selling tales about the royal family, she became furious and resorted to claiming racial discrimination. After mistreating the staff, she used claims of racism as an excuse for being reprimanded yet again. Mentioning the loss of jewelry in connection with her race was an evident act of racism. Furthermore, pressuring her to make public appearances, groom herself, present herself well, and dress suitably is yet another form of racial discrimination. However, it is highly unlikely that Meghan Markle will ever find true happiness in her life. Her satisfaction is unattainable as her focus remains solely on personal gains and evading consequences. It's always about the value she can provide to others. Therefore, it implies that she will never find happiness. No matter what she does, she will never experience true satisfaction. She possesses the skill of deception and manipulation. She caught sight of Harry. She witnessed the capture of a massive hull. She believed that acquiring Harry would secure her future indefinitely. From witnessing Meghan's photographs and reading the ridiculous flattery articles, it appears that she is experiencing a significant decline in her mental state. At this juncture, she lacks a firm grasp on what is real. It's truly disheartening to consider the missed opportunity of Meghan using her potential to create a positive impact globally. She possibly had the potential to be similar to Princess Diana. However, regrettably, that possibility was not feasible. It can be attributed to her excessive pride and arrogance that everything boils down to her. To be honest, I am unsure of Meghan's next course of action. None of her plans have been successful. She has become incredibly famous for her marriage to Harry, and her reputation precedes her among other men. Therefore, she is left with two options, either tolerate being with Harry or separate from him and potentially end up homeless. From what I gather, it seems like she has experienced turbulent relationships in the past. I believe that no man would be interested in engaging with her. It is astonishing to reminisce about the engagement and wedding photographs. To put it simply, we were completely unaware of the forthcoming events. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.